Welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to go over what auto adjust within dots means. This option was a mystery for quite a while. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so first let me show you the option that we're going over. It's in the moving and jumping tab and it's called auto adjust association within specified dots. Now for the longest time, I just could not figure out what this meant. So first let's see what the behavior is like normally without the option selected. So if we go play test, we can see exactly what's going on here. So in games, we usually have tile walls, which is the red, and we usually have wall detections, which is the green. So right now, if I was to clip the corner of a tile wall, I would get hard stopped and nothing would happen. Same thing for a wall detection. If I get on the corner like that, nothing adjusts. So now if we turn this option on and give it some pixels to adjust to, I'm just going to give it a tile worth, which in this project is 16 by 16. And now if we play test this, we can see that this behavior is going to auto adjust now. And so that is literally what this option does. Now, the only caveat is, is it does not auto adjust with object wall detections. So it only auto adjusts with tiles, which in most of the case is enough, because as you can see here, some tiles have a really wide space between the restriction and where the visual of the restriction could be. So now, in this case, this looks a lot better than just having hard stopped right here, like it did in the previous example, and it doesn't look like you should. So this will make games a whole lot smoother, especially for top view games, where restrictions are kind of limited. And again, I found that the best fit is to just have it auto adjust by one tile size. Every, anything else just felt a little more off, but once I gave it a full tile size to auto adjust, it felt really good. All right, so now let's go over some side view behavior with this option. First, I'm gonna show you the default behavior. So first behavior is when you jump on a corner like this, it's gonna instantly kick you out of jump and it's not gonna auto adjust. Now on this one, when the player jumps, you're gonna see her still flying in the air a little bit before she lands, kind of like that. This top one right here, we won't be able to get up on. This is a more extreme example where she will be jumping up and not snap until she lands. And then the last one is just this one little tile right here where the wall detection works as intended. All right, so now if we turn this auto adjust on and let's give it a tile like we did before, this will show us an extreme example here. So now if we go and start to do some of these behaviors, we can see that jumping and hitting this corner right here pushes me out, but it stops my jump completely. The other thing is, is now that we have a max height here, we can now snap up to the top because we're adjusting to that. So you would want to set your max height accordingly. The other one is, is remember this one, or she was supposed to stay in the air a little bit before landing. And now she just snaps onto it. And I believe she snaps onto it because it's near her max height. Because if you go to a two tile high one, she doesn't snap onto it. She actually continues jumping like normal. And then the last one to show is that you can actually climb up one tile high if you're using a tile as the reference there. I believe if we used 15, I don't think they would be able to climb up or maybe it's eight. Nope, so it's 15. So it'd have to be one tile less. All right, so now let's show a fix for this one right here on how to continue the jump. And it has a little caveat. There's another fix for that caveat. So we'll just dive into this rabbit hole right now. So if you come down here, you can notice some options called stop upward movement. And if we uncheck the tile wall collision that stops the upward movement, we can play test and we can hit a corner tile and we can notice not only do we adjust, but we continue our jump. But the only thing is, is that now when we hit a tile wall upward, we stay in our jump a little bit. It doesn't reach our peak height inst instantly. And so you can see that there is a little, it is kind of a little bit weird because you can have these things where you're sliding along the, the top of the tile wall forever and stuff like that. So there is a little workaround for that as well. So let's dive a little deeper. And what we can do is we can actually go to the groups. We can create another tile wall group and we could just call this the jump adjust tile. We would wanna make sure that the player hits this and actually any object that would 
need to hit that needs to have that on. And then we would assign it to another tile that would just be for the corners. So for instance, we would give this collision and when we would say this is a jump adjust tile. Then we could go to the scene here and we could put them simply on the corners of the bottom most tile, the tile that will auto adjust the character. Now, this is differentiated for ease of visualization, but this most likely would be the same tiles that you would normally use. So then the next thing that we'd have to do is we'd go to object here and in the link condition that the jump would go to fall, not only when the jump peach peak is reached, but when you contact a default tile, just a default tile. So we check this and so it only checks for detail default tile. If you don't have this checked, even though it still says default tile, you're technically checking all tile groups. So make sure this is checked to specify. And if you have any other tile groups, you would also have to do it for each of those as well that, that act like a default tile. So we'll hit okay and we'll say or. So jump peak is reached or you hit a tile that is a default tile on the top portion of your wall detection. So now if we play, we can see that we will auto adjust on these ones, but we will just get kicked out of our jump on these ones. Now the only caveat is this is the the last stand that they're just there probably is a workaround, but it it would be too complicated to be worth it to me. And that is that if you are if you are too inside this and you can't auto adjust then it's not going to auto adjust you and you're going to have that weird slide, but you're not going to be able to slide because the second you get off that tile, you're now out of jump. So there won't be any sliding. The only thing is, is that it will have a weird pause and that's about it. So if that workaround is good enough for you, then that should work out. Okay. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks again, Senri Kitty for giving me a direction to look at with this option. Again, I just had no idea what this option was talking about. And so it's very easy for top view projects, just one click, you're ready. Side view projects, you have a lot more to consider, but if you do it right, it could add some potential benefit to the player's user experience. So yeah, any questions, comments below, Steam Forum Discord will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.